विच इज दैट वन क्वालिटी दैट हैज द डिवाइन पावर ऑफ सक्सेस इट्स सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस इफ यू आर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंट यू हैव वन हाफ द बैटल Hi I am Dr Parag Singh we founder B or Force your holistic life coach and your health and wellness life coach when you believe in yourself your abilities your capabilities your qualities and your judgment in carrying out a work or an assignment it means you are self confident self confidence is an essential quality which is required to be successful you need to develop inculcate and cultivate in yourself in order to be successful self confidence has many benefits it increases your self worth if you are confident about yourself about your abilities about your capabilities you start valuing yourself more and this increases your self worth self confidence increases your productivity you are more confident of your work you do not have any hesitation in carrying out your work so it increases your productivity self confidence removes the fear and anxiety if you have fear it causes lots of obstruction in the path of achieving your work or assignment if you are confident about yourself you can overcome the fear and you can fulfill your work self confidence gives you the power of assertiveness you can you have the ability to say no when you want to say no and that's possible only when you are confident about yourself and your capabilities and finally if you are self confident it increases your chances of success manifold can you develop self confidence the answer is yes however it takes time it's a process rome was not built in a day not all are born with self confidence but you can develop self confidence over a period of time here are few tips which will help you to develop confidence in yourself and thus be self confident tip number 1 visualize yourself as you have achieved something what your mind can conceive and believe you can achieve these are the words of napoleon hill if you have problem uh, with your looks try imagining that you are looking beautiful reinforcing this image again and again will increase the confidence in yourself about your looks if you want to achieve something and you have not achieved something visualize as if as if you have already achieved that task or goal this will give you a feel good effect this will increase the confidence in yourself this will increase the belief in yourself the technique of visualization is a proven technique to increase your self confidence tip number 2 affirm yourself affirmations are positive uplifting statements if you want to achieve something start your day by saying i am going to do the work i am going to complete my assignment i am going to have a very good day at my office this positive uplifting statements will reinforce your belief in yourself this will increase the confidence in yourself tip number 3 face the fear the only way to overcome the fear is face the fear when you start facing the fear your confidence level increases slowly let's take an example of traveling in the lift you have a fear of traveling in a lift start by traveling few floors with the people around you then increase the number of floors finally one day you will be able to travel without any people 
slowly you will overcome the fear you will realize that nothing untowards has happened while traveling in a lift and this increases your confidence in yourself as far as traveling in the lift goes so what you have done you have faced the fear and you have finally overcome the fear tip number four set small and achievable goals the biggest mistake we make is we set very high difficult goals once we are not able to achieve the goals we lose our self-confidence we lose the belief in ourselves. so what we do we set very small realistic and achievable goals you want to start running don't set a goal of running 21 kilometers in just two months when you have never ran in your life. Instead, start walking for few minutes, gradually increase, then incorporate some time of jogging and some time of walking. And over a period of few months or maybe a year, you will be able to run longer distances of say 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers or in half marathon of 21 kilometers kilometers tip number five look at what you have already achieved you should always try to list down the things which you have achieved in your life however small it may be rather than thinking of the things which you are not able to achieve by doing so you will have a feel good effect about yourself you will be confident about yourself that at least you are able to achieve small small things in life always remember you start with small and then go big so rather than remembering and cribbing about things which you have not achieved try to relish the things which you have already achieved in your life because this is going to be a push for you to achieve bigger things in life and finally prepare and practice we have already said that self-confidence is the stepping stone towards success preparation and practice are the stepping stone towards self-confidence if you want to do a particular task you need to practice you need to do preparation for that for example you want to give a speech practice by rewriting practice by talking again and again in front of the mirror what it does is you will be more confident about yourself it is quite possible that you will learn it by heart and when you are actually talking in front of people there are more chances of you reproducing that speech as it is rather than forgetting the speech only because of practice and preparation I hope these few tips will help you to develop confidence in yourself and you will become more self-confident. This is Dr. Parak Sangvi, founder of Be Your Force, signing off. Life is beautiful.